so for those of you that know me or that follow the channel know that I'm really not into having the same car twice. Once I've had it, I'm usually pretty much done with it. And there are certain exceptions, like you know my Viper, for example, I had a third generation Viper, now I've got a first generation Viper, but they're different. They're different enough for it to be like a different car for me. Um, you know, there are a few vehicles that I would have over again or have maybe a different variation of, but um, you know, it would just depend on like the deal on it, um, what, it, what the car was built up to be or how it was or, or what have you. For me, it's gotta be different enough to make the car worthwhile for me to say, okay, it's the same car, but it's a different variation, if that makes any sense. So, but there are some cars that I've had several of, and there are cars that I continue to repeat. Um, Corvette is one of those vehicles. Now, I've had a number of different Corvettes, all the way from uh, C2, which is behind me, up to C7, and um, a lot of them in between. Uh, by my calculations, I've had 16 Corvettes, and I like said I had the C2, a C3, uh, several three C4s, um, a lot of C5s, really a lot of C5s, I think like seven or eight, and uh, a couple C6s, a couple C7s. But there is one Corvette in particular that just keeps showing up in my shop. I keep finding, I keep running into. Uh, I just, I, it's like I can't get away from the car, and I really don't mind that. And I think for those of you that do follow the channel, know me well, you'll know exactly the Corvette that I'm talking about. That's right, the C5 Z06. This is the new acquisition for the shop, 2001 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. So you might ask yourself why I did it again, why another C5 Z06? Well, quite frankly, that right there. Yes, this bad boy has a Pro Charger on it. You might remember the last video I was talking about how horsepower kind of spoils you. And so I've been looking for something a little bit more um, my Camaro's fast. I mean, 620 horse is nothing to sneeze at, and it's definitely fast. I guess this is kind of a different kind of fast, if you will. And so I got on a Z06 kick, an actual C5 Z06 kick, because last Sunday out of my Cars and Coffee, uh, I had a buddy of mine show up with his, and he's wanting to sell it. Now, his is a 2003. Uh, it's a built motor, built suspension, transmission, everything. It was built for the track. Um, it's got twin turbos on it and it's a lot more powerful than this one. I think it's pushing about 750 at the wheel and it's not even turned up. It wouldn't take much to turn it up and he said easily a thousand to the wheel. That thing was absolutely insane. Went for a ride in it and I was very very impressed with it. I was tempted to buy it because it is for sale but um, it would have needed paint and a few other little things and I just felt like by the time I spent the money on the car and the money on the paint job I would have been upside down in the car and you guys know me I don't keep them that long so um, I don't think this one's gonna stay around forever for just a little while but um, it just didn't seem financially feasible to me although I do continue to think about that car so as I said I looked at that one on Sunday well Sunday evening another car buddy of mine sends me a picture of this car and of course he just sends me a couple of pictures and I said is it stock then he sends me a picture of the Pro Charger. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I know he wants to sell it. I know all, basically all his stuff is for sale. He's got like 80 plus cars and just about everything is for sale. And he and I have done some deals before. We've traded, I bought a few vehicles from him. So I know he has good stuff. I know he's a fair and straight guy. So I said, okay, I'm interested. And we talked back and forth a little bit. And lo and behold, last weekend I went down, paid him the cash and bought this car. Um, that does mean I'm up to 21 cars, which means I still need to get rid of something, i.e. the Firehawk. May have something going on with that here um, later this week, but I'll keep you guys updated. But this particular car, um, like I said, it's an 01, the first year that they made them, 385 horsepower, so not quite as good as the 02 through 04, which is a little bump in horsepower, but not a real big deal. Um, these also didn't have the heads-up display, which the later models did. Again, it's nice to have, but I notice I don't really use it when I'm driving the car, so not a big deal. And besides, my XLR's got heads up, so I don't really need it. What's well, more wanting? Um, but this car's super clean. This car, it came out of Arizona. It's got 46,000 original miles, and quite honestly, nothing's been done to this car other than the Pro Charger, and I noticed that whoever owned it before did upgrade the brakes. Uh, it's got wheel woods all the way around, six piston on front, four piston on the back. Uh, but other than that, this car is just completely stocked it's got the uh, wrapped hood and of course you can see the aftermarket headlights which I'm not overly crazy about. Got the stock headlights in the trunk. I may change them over or I may have Eddie change them over. I haven't really decided yet but other than that inside out this car is just completely stock. Um, other than a few small blemishes in the paint it's, it's really in great shape. I mean for a 21 year old car 
Well, let me walk you around it real quick. White is very easy to keep clean, as you can see, but the car shows very, very well. The rims are in awesome shape. Uh, they look like they've been recently powder coated. The tires are fairly new and in really good shape on this car. And, you know, the car really, I just can't complain. Uh, especially Corvettes, they're known to get a lot of rock chips in the front. And there's a few little blemishes if you look really close, but overall the car is just in really good shape. The worst mark that I have been able to find is right there. And then you can see down below there on the, the door. So, and that, truthfully that might actually buff out if someone put a little effort into it. But the car is just super, super clean, runs good. Everything seems to work on it. Inside is just as clean. I mean, even the bolster really has no wear to it on these seats. It's kind of dark, I know. It's always dark in here and then I always get the dark interiors. But the car is just really completely stock. Um, it's actually kind of a sleeper. So let's start this car up for you and show you guys that it's very much a sleeper, if a Z06 can be a sleeper. I mean, there's just nothing to indicate that there's anything not stock about this car. There's no heads, no cam, no exhaust, nothing that rumbles. I mean, it's very quiet, very mellow, very subdued. Down low, you can hear a little bit of the blower whine. But not really. I mean, it could just be a belt for that matter. It's, like I said, if a Z06 would be a sleeper, this car probably would be a sleeper. So I'm going to go ahead, hook up the camera, and take you guys out for a little spin in this car. Kind of show you what it's all about. And then we're going to come back here and talk about it just a little bit. And I'll wrap up the video. So, went up to Exeter, which is a little over two hours away, picked this car up. Drove home, no problems. Cruising along just fine. And he did say that the cruise control isn't working. And for some reason, just sometimes, the driver's side signal doesn't want to work. Not sure why. It'll work and it'll stop. So there's got to be a short or something going on there. Minor stuff, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but air blows cold. Stock sound system stock, sounds like the stock sound system. Um, everything else seems to work put it in competitive mode because I always like to drive these cars in competitive mode. Um, yeah, nice cruising car. Eddie said it just hung along very, very nicely. And um, the one thing about this car is the tires on the back are 275s and I think they're a cheaper kind of a tire, not a real name brand. They seem soft enough, but um, like first gear is useless. Second gear, once it starts building boost, it's pretty much useless. Third gear is kind of interesting because while it's, it, it goes, you can still hear the rear tires spinning. And um, I wanted to take you guys on a little ride and introduce the car and just kind of show you it before I start doing stuff to it. So. too fast and shifted my camera angle over a little bit this car has definitely got some punch to it um, it, it definitely gets up and runs I've driven it very little I've taken around the block one time and I test drove it when we went to Exeter to pick it up so um, hopefully that camera angle doesn't throw you guys off I can do like this so um, this thing does suffer from the dreaded dead clutch that these things do get. I can feel it right now. And I just changed the fluid on it, but uh, that didn't seem to help. I think I'm gonna need a little stiffer return spring. But, um, yeah, I'll go for a little drive. It's got three quarters of a tank. But I mean, the nice thing is you just can drive this car and just cruise right along in it. No problems at all. Sounds completely stock, almost too stock. Thing you know I'm gonna have to do to the car is more tire behind it um, and I'm gonna need a stickier tire that's for sure so you guys know which direction I'll go on that but um, I'll talk more about the car 
and more about my thoughts and what I'm thinking that I probably will do. There's, there's what I would like to do to it and what I will probably realistically do to it. So we'll talk about that after we get back to the shop. I gotta run this thing out a couple more times. It's, that was fun. So I was gonna step into it and do another spirited run for you guys, but there's cars up ahead. I'd be up on them before I knew it. So I'll just go ahead and talk about my plans for this vehicle and kind of wrap up the video as I'm driving. Um, what I will more than likely end up doing is going the cheaper route because, you know, normally I don't keep these cars that long and it would be stupid for me to dump a bunch of money into this car knowing that I'm probably going to get rid of it in six months to a year, if that. So my plans for this car is obviously I do want to put uh, some sticker, stickier and wider tires on the rear end of it. Um, obviously it's a Toro R888s, I think a 305 will fit under there very nicely and get this thing to hook up a little bit better. Um, I do want to upgrade the sound system, the stock sound system just will not cut it for me. So, you know, the typical Bluetooth, uh, subwoofer, amp, that type of thing. And um, probably want to stick a, um, like a, a small wing on the back just to give the back end a little bit of flair. That 03 that I looked at over the weekend, it had a little bit of a wing and it looked really, really good. I liked it. It was subtle, not overdone. And then this car needs to come down a little bit. Uh, these cars can be lowered on the stock bolts. You can get them down about an inch, inch and a quarter. And this thing definitely needs to come down with it being stock height. That is what I would probably do to it. If I were going to keep this car and I were really going to build it, um, I would probably do fender flares in the back. I'd probably go with like a newer Z06 or even ZR1 type wheel. Let's try to fit some like 325, 335s in the back. Um, I would do a flat bottom steering wheel. I'd probably do some Corbo seats in here. And of course, all the other stuff that I'm talking about doing, you know, I would actually build it up a little bit and I would probably take it down to a shop and just have them do a little tinkering. Um, I would have them put a boost gauge in because this doesn't have a boost gauge or an air fuel. So I'll probably do pillar gauges here and maybe try to build it up and shoot for right around 550, maybe 600 wheel horsepower. Uh, I think the stock drivetrain is pretty good with that, but I would have to upgrade the clutch. That is one of the Achilles heels on these cars is the clutch. Every C5 Z06 I've ever had, the clutch, after just a, just a couple little runs, banging through the gears, uh, you get that dead clutch feel. And those of you that have driven these cars, you know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the clutch is just, it's just not good. Feels like it's going out, but it's not. And um, that's kind of the bummer about this car. But other than that, you know, it's, it's a fun car. And it's got plenty of power, plenty of go. just once that once it starts building boost you really feel this thing come on and it it just like starts sucking you back in the seat. I was looking at me about 80 miles an hour it was just starting to suck me back in the seat it goes it definitely goes but now the clutch is even just that little bit the clutch is just stuck down a little bit and it's kind of sticking I just I don't like that and I don't want to spend the money and put a clutch in it but if I have to, I will. Um, like I said, I did drain all the old fluid out and put new fluid in, hoping that would help. Doesn't seem to have helped much at all, if any. So I may need a stiffer return spring. I might have to look into doing something like that. But other than that, it, it is definitely a beast. I'm, 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 I'm pleased with my fifth C5 Z06. So, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, P.O. Box, and Instagram in the description below. Guys, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that don't know, a stock motor like this with a Pro Charger, this thing's probably somewhere around 600 at the crank. So maybe 500, maybe 520 at the wheel, which that's about what it feels like, which is still very respectable. I mean... Like I said, right now, it's well beyond the limits of these tires and the, this car itself. So 
I don't need any more, but you always want more. That's the problem. You always want it. You don't necessarily need it. But I know there's always something out there faster. And, you know, I think it'll be a fun car for right now. Like I said, I think I'll just go the more inexpensive route and I, I'll do the tires and get it down a little bit. Maybe put the wing on the stereo and just kind of leave it alone, drive it for a little bit. And then I'll end up selling it or trading it and going on to something else. So, um, yeah. That's my latest C5 Z06. That makes number five. And I think uh, it's like number three or four since I've had the channel. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys like Corvettes. Hope you guys like Z06, C5 Z06s. So, looks like they're just going to kind of keep coming in and out. 